All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a picture with your phone using the app Genius Scan and and make it into a Mastery Connect assessment. Okay? So I took a picture of a piece of paper test or quiz using the app Genius Scan and I airdropped it to myself as a PDF. So here it is, and you can see when I took the picture my thumb was in the picture. But look at what good quality the image is. Here are the five questions I want to assess, and I airdropped them to myself. Now, when you airdrop yourself something, it usually goes to your downloads folder, which may be down here on your dock. If it's not down on your dock, you can open any folder on your computer, and often it's over here in the left in your favorites bar. There it is, downloads. And you can see it's ordered from oldest to newest, right? So you can see the newest stuff's at the top. Okay. Let me show you something else too in your downloads folder is you can change the view of it right up here so you can make it into this type of view with a preview right or you can do like this where it just lists all of them or you can do it in little squares right I like the list view right here so I can see them all alright so here's the document on my desktop right here that I airdropped to myself okay so now I'm going to go, and remember when we create an assessment, we always go to Maps first, and it's a geometry assessment. And so then I'm going to go over here where it says to the hamburger menu and click Add Assessment, Create New Assessment. And this is multi-standard. I'm going to say this is example um, from camera and paper, just as a name. Now the assessment source is that document on the desktop, this one right here. Okay, And make sure you use the app Genius Scan. And let me show you this just as a side note. What I've done also is I have added a video that shows you how to use that app Genius Scan which you can download to your iPad or to your phone. So here's the video. And so the video basically shows you how to take an image, and you can see what I'm doing in the, app in the right. video. There's the app right there, Genius Scan. Okay, and as I go through on the video, you can see I've got the piece of paper right there, and I take a picture of it with the app Genius Scan. Okay, so let's keep making the quiz. So my assessment source, I'm going to upload a file and I'm going to choose the file from my computer and it's this perimeter quiz that's on the desktop All right. and I'm going to share it with the community multiple choice five questions now the first two are this standard right here and the next three are this standard right here so these two are that standard and the next three are that now I know the first one's answer is A, the second one's answer is B, the third one's answer is A the fourth is C and the fifth is D. Now, I'm going to make each question worth 20 points. So I got a nice even 100 point quiz. And I'm going to put in my data for mastery and near mastery. Now notice GC01 only has two questions, each worth 20, so that's why I have 40 possible points here. And GC06 is three questions right here, 20 a piece, that's why I have 60. So that 40 and 60 adds up to 100. So I'm going to put in my near mastery, my mastery and near mastery data right here, and then I'm done. Okay. So notice I did multi-standard. I named it. I chose my assessment. I made it available to the community, and then I click create assessment. All right. Now remember, when on this screen to always click apply updates, and now you can go in your tracker and find the assessment.